Fuck, ich bin am Ende. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich schaffen soll. Straight Flash. Das kann nur können. Gott, oh, oh, Ass, 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 zwei. Ass, zwei, Ass, ja. Ja, hier, nein. Oh. Never seen a more heartbreaking clip of online live stream poker in my entire life. My God, if you guys saw this, I posted on Twitter, I post on Instagram. This is a really crazy story. Once I investigated it more, I'm here to tell you guys about it. How my man over here with the chicken head on, Newpol, he actually got a ticket for free to play as Venture Poker Stars and ended up at the final table in this heartbreaking moment. Heads up and Nossi over here to the left. He was on his rail. He was fired up. He was like the best commentator I've ever seen. We need to get this guy commentating. I want to bring him on the channel. Doug Polk versus DeGranu. Oh, yeah! Yeah, man! Knüppelführung! Yeah, man! I'm at the end. Frank, I'm at the end. I don't know how to do it. Commentate with him on that because this guy's bringing the heat. He's bringing the fire. This guy's... I love this guy, man. So I'm gonna explain the full story on what happened today. I'm sure you guys like the video. If you enjoy my video, my content, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm very active on Twitter and Instagram, and my YouTube is kicking back up strong. It's been some, it's been a great month of content. I'll be doing these World Poker Tour final table breakdowns every Friday, including tomorrow. We got some special guest collaborators coming up in the future, but that's gonna be up tomorrow. So let's get into this story. Sit back, enjoy. Let me know what you think. All right, so let's start from the top with this story. It's a pretty wild story here. So my man on the left here with the crown on and that was, had his heart broken there when that, that river came. That was a pretty, that's an incredible river. I mean, the queen on the river, the guy makes two pair for the title. The guy's queen on the river, that's a pretty crazy hand. So his name is, is Jens Nosala. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'm not sure if it's the same pronunciation as the Jens Kulinen from Finland, if it for Germany, if it's the same pronunciation, you guys let me know, please. So Jens Nosala, AKA Nossi, he is a well-known German entertainer. He's got over a million subscribers on YouTube, Instagram, on Twitch. He's one of the most subscribed people on Twitch. He used to be a poker host. So he's hosted poker before. He's been on reality TV before. He's been involved with the poker world before and has a relationship with poker stars. So my man on the right, Nupal, which I'm pretty sure you don't say it that way because it has the two dots above the U and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. So you guys, once again, gotta let me know if I'm saying that correctly. So Nupal is one of his hardcore Twitch followers. This is one of the first guys that ever watched a stream. Okay, so he's a very hardcore member of the community. These two obviously got a close relationship and this guy's been there supporting Nossi on his stream the entire time. So now poker stars during their summer series they were doing these promotions where they would give away tickets to streamers and in return, the streamers would either get money and stream the event or maybe just stream the event. So the advantage for the streamer is that, oh, we get to play this event. We get to play a game that's a lot of fun and our community gets to be entertained because poker is a very, very fun game to watch. So poker stars, and plus you can win big. I mean, listen, you, now you're like, this guy wins, he wins over $100,000. I mean, it's a pretty sick deal. So Poker Stars gives Nossi two tickets. They give him a ticket to a $2,000 tournament and a $5,000 tournament. Not a bad deal at all for either side. So he told, said to Poker Stars that Nupal always supports him. And during the stream, Nossi told Poker Stars that he wants to gift something away to his community. Now we've seen Poker Stars gift people tournament tickets in the past, like myself. And then also like Jeremy, who will help get the Platinum Pass ticket as well during the PCA time. That was a pretty fun time. So we've seen stars be willing to do things like this in the past. So Nossi says, poker stars, can we give something away to my community? And they say, if you break the Twitch stream viewer record, we'll, we'll, give, you, we'll give you a pass to give away, okay? So one of these platinum passes for Barcelona, it's gonna be the next uh, 25K event they're having whenever live poker comes back. So now Nossi, he's got about 25,000 people watching him at this time. So he says, all right, what can I do here? He calls up one of his friends. His friend goes by the name Montana Black. He's one of the biggest Twitch streamers in Germany, over 2.4 million followers. He says, hey, can you help me hit this viewing record? 
So they put it out there, and then soon after, they get to over 60,000 viewers, and they break the Twitch viewer record that Lex Veldhaus set back during the scoop event on PokerStars. So they break the record. PokerStars says, hey, here's your 25K Platinum Pass, and my man Nuple gets the Platinum Pass from PokerStars. I think that's really great by Nossi. This is one of his hardest cores, and he tells PokerStars, hey, if you're going to give me something, why don't I give it away to Nuple here? So now at this time, Nossi's playing a $5,200 tournament, and Nuple's playing a $530 tournament. And Nuple's biggest score before this, I'm told by my Austrian liaison, my Austrian correspondent, Frazier, that his biggest score up to this point is about $8,000 online, and he also won a, a small car at a live poker tournament. So I'm not sure how that worked out. I don't even know. I've never seen a poker tournament where you can win a small car as the prize. So, but I'm told that he won a small, a small car. So not bad. I mean, it could be worse, right? So during this time, they're playing the online tournaments and star support says, Hey, do you guys want to enter this 1k event too? So of course they go, uh, yeah, of course we do. So they enter the event pretty late. It's right 20 minutes before late registration. So they have very short stacks. They're going to have to get lucky. They're going to be all in a lot. And Nossi ends up cashing for over $3,000. Not bad for a free roll. And Nupal makes it to day two. And now during day two, they're both, so uh, they're in different locations. And Nossi is just watching them the entire time, fired up, yelling, excited. I mean, this guy... This guy could be my brother, it seems like to me. How excited he's getting. He, I always feel bad about getting so fired up and excited because everyone in poker is like really like, down, like this, you know. Everyone's like real quiet guys. And I'm kind of a loud person sometimes. So I feel a little bad sometimes. Like, ah, yelling. They're like, what is, what is this guy yelling for? What's this guy's fucking problem? I get some comments like, why are you, why are you yelling at us? Why are you talking so loud? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this guy's doing this the entire time and the fans are loving it. Maybe I'm in the wrong business. I don't know. I really might be here. So he plays down and Nupo gets to the final table. And during the final table, they had over 90,000 people watching. I'm in there watching. I'm losing my shit. I'm like, God, I really want this guy to win, man. He's got this crazy hat on. Uh, he looks like a very peaceful guy, quiet guy, just having a good time, grinding away quietly. You got Nossi, the ultimate hype man in their corner, just losing his fucking mind, going crazy like this. You know, I'm like, my God. First of all, I need a hype man like him. So if anyone wants to come on my 5K Potlum Omaha Challenge vlogs, my gameplay PLO vlogs, and wants to be my hype man, you're more than welcome to. You just sit there like that on the green screen and just cheering for me. I would love that. Listen, you guys are more than welcome. I would invite someone to come do that for me. So they get down to the final table. He, I mean, this last hand is brutal. This is sickening. This is a sickening hand. I see why he almost had a heart attack because... He's all in, hits two pair on the turn. He's going to win the tournament, $160,000. I mean, insane story. And unfortunately, he loses that hand, gets knocked out soon after, only takes home $100,000. But hey, we still get a really incredible story. I guess you got to say, what do you got to think in that situation? You got to give a shout out to Nossi for, for saying, okay, well, you guys are going to give something away. Let me try to help someone out that's been a big supporter of me. I'm sure his community greatly appreciates that. Shout out to Poker Stars as well for doing something like that. Of course, it's good marketing for a business to, to do that, right? It looks good on them. Why would they not do more of this? Why would companies not do more of this? Get Give people chances to play these events and potentially have life-changing scores, big scores. I think that we will see more in the future. So shout out to Poker Stars for doing that. I think we're seeing Poker Stars make a lot of really nice moves on the Twitch world and establishing a very nice community overall on that platform. And I look forward to seeing more of what Poker Stars is gonna do with Twitch. I haven't spent a ton of time researching the current ecosystem with the cash games and with the new games being created by poker stars but i'll be paying more attention to that in the future to reevaluate what that landscape looks like say so overall what does this mean for poker right long term you get 90,000 people watching and he is speaking in german right so these are a lot of german fans out there i don't know where poker stands in terms of uh, relevancy or popularity in germany we do have a lot of uh, well-known german players fader holes comes to mind who are, I assume, are, are popular German poker players. But maybe you get these these new fans who are more esports fans who get to see poker and say, hey, that looks like a fun game to try, right? That could be something I could do. Maybe I can win big. Maybe I can enjoy myself. Maybe I can make a living out of it. Maybe I can stream the game. So I think any time that poker gets exposed out there to a new audience, and a lot of these these new esports audience, I think that poker is one of the most, the greatest games. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's so fun. I think it's really exciting. I think the ability to turn something small into a large amount is just, uh, I mean, it's awesome. It's one of the allures, one of the dreams that a lot of people get into poker. That's what they play. That's what they get excited about. It's what I get excited about. 
So I think it's really cool to uh, imagine a newer generation, a younger generation of poker fan finding that out. And you just hope that these sites maintain the ability for people to make money through playing poker. And I think with these tournaments that we see, the big tournaments, that dream is still alive. Now, of course, you have to get very lucky to get there, but I think it's still very realistic to understand how to make money at the game of poker playing online poker on multiple different sites out there. I think there's a lot of options out there. There's different game types, but if you understand how to navigate the system, you are going to be able to be a winning player. And I think we are seeing more streamers find out about poker, maybe take a liking to it. And I'm very interested to see if some of those streamers now become full-time players, full-time ambassadors for the game, and they help to bring in a new type of player to the game of poker. Maybe a, play, maybe a poker player that plays to have a good time, that plays to have fun. And now you say responsible gambling, right? Are you creating gambling addicts? And I look around these other games and there's a lot of money being spent on these games. A lot of people are playing Fortnite, spending a lot of money. They're playing NBA 2K. They're playing Madden Ultimate Team. They're playing FIFA Ultimate Team. They're playing a lot of games out there where they're spending real money with the ability to get nothing back. So we've seen this model in gaming where it's free to buy or it costs money to buy, but then they just... I mean, they get you pretty hard with these in-game purchases. Well, in poker, essentially what you're doing is you're in-game purchasing chips to then potentially win more money. So I can understand how, but I can understand if someone says, oh, it's gambling. Well, to me, I look at it and I almost say like, well, what's the difference in some ways, right? In this situation, you get a chance to win more money. In this situation, you get to improve your, your virtual fake character. Now you might say, okay, well, that allure of winning a lot of money is something that sends people to be gambling addicts. And we've seen that over time, right? And that's not a subject that I'm enough researched on and I know enough about to speak from an intelligent standpoint, but it's one of the main things I really do want to research because I'm very curious what's happening to people all around the world that play games that are spending this money in these games that the structure of these games is basically gambling. When I play NBA 2K, my team, I am spending virtual coins on boxes on unknown players, and they get you so good with this. And I look at that, I say, wow, that's way more predatory than poker seems like to me personally, especially if now if you're gambling above your head and if you're spending a lot of money that you can't afford on either of these games, that's a problem. So problem gambling, problem spending, I imagine that that is a big issue for certain people out there in all different games. And there should definitely be ways to help these people out and to be able to stop that from happening. But then the question is, how do you stop that from happening? How do you prevent these people who ruin their lives through online gaming and through these in-app purchases? So now I'm curious, right? What's my man Nossi gonna do? Is he gonna stick around poker? I don't understand how he does it. I mean, he saw a lot of love he's getting up there. A lot of fans were enjoying it. I was personally enjoying it. I like this guy. I reached out to the guy. May we get him on a video. May we talk to them more. I wanna meet my man Noople. I wanna say like, yo bro, what's your story? What's this guy's story? What car did he win, right? Can I go? to Germany and we go around in the car. Like I, I gotta, I wanna meet this fucking guy. This guy, I mean, $100,000, what's he doing with the money? Right, I don't know. I just got questions from my man Nupel. So if we get to, get to reach out to him, he's, I'm said he's from Leipzig, Germany. So maybe I need to go back to Germany, guys. I'm excited overall, man, I think it's a great story. I think it's a very fun story. Let me know your thoughts below. What do you think about this? You think poker is on the upswing? You think poker is on a downswing? I think poker is on an upswing. I really do, man. I'm excited for what's coming here. So like the video for more if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. WPT World Poker Tour final table breakdown tomorrow. My show, excited for that coming every uh, every Friday for the rest of the month here, man. Saturday, either a 5K Pop Manoha challenge or I'm dropping a video. We got a guy who wants to issue a challenge up there. So that's what I got, guys. Peace out.